Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do a fairly simple routine. This past weekend I had the honor of doing a friend's makeup for her bridal shower and also doing her mother's makeup for the bridal shower. And I was asked, do you actually spend an hour or more every single day on doing your makeup? And the answer is no, I don't. But today I thought I would walk you through that routine while also trying out a few new products and see how it goes. So before we get started, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me and we will get started. Okay, so lately with my new skin type changing stuff, I have actually been doing my face first. So that's how we're gonna do it today. And I know I'm late to the game, but I did pick up the Ease Drop from Fenty Beauty. I've wanted to try it, and I've tried a couple other skin tints in May, so I figured why not add one more to the collection and see how it compares. So we're gonna go in with the Ease Drop, and I got the shade two. So the way I've been putting on skin tints is I've just been using a brush. And this one is honestly coming out a little bit thicker than like the Urban Decay Hydromaniac one. Now, honestly, shade two might be a bit too light for me. And then I'm just taking what's left on my hand with my sponge and we are going to buff out the brush marks. I'm actually pretty impressed. I feel like it took a little bit more product than the Urban Decay Hydromaniac one does to actually build up to the coverage that I prefer. Just on my cheeks and on my nose, I have a lot of redness there, so I tend to build it up a little bit more there. But honestly, it looks really nice on the skin. It looks like my like it, the product really sunk into the skin. Yeah, I'm liking it, so let's keep going. For concealer, I picked up their new ones. These are the eye brightening things from Fenty Beauty as well. I know these aren't actually concealers, they're meant to like color correct first. I've seen some reviews and it doesn't actually look like you need concealer on top of these. So I have the shade Seashell and Rose Quartz. I have a bit more of a pinky undertone so I'm going to go into Rose Quartz first. I'm not going to lie, I did open it because I was just curious and something that I don't particularly like about the packaging is that there's a little stopper in the top of the lid and so when you pull it out before the actual applicator comes out of the lid, it releases product. So now my lid has extra product in there and the top of my applicator is covered in product. We're going to try it out anyways. So I'm just going to do one at a, eye at a time like I normally do and blend it out with a brush first. Then we'll take the sponge and press that in. I actually like that. I think that turned out really nice. It definitely got rid of the blue on the inner corner of my eye. I'm actually really happy with that. I think those are really nice. That it's got some really nice coverage to it and I feel like my under eyes are very bright now. So I'm going to actually leave it as that and we're going to set that as though it were my concealer. I just took a little bit of my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder on, I think it's a highlighter brush, but I've been using it as a setting brush. I think it works really nicely to just get right under the eyes so I don't have to set my whole face so heavily, especially for the summertime. To set my whole face, I have really been enjoying the Kosas Cloud Set powder, and I, I think it's just a really nice light powder, so it's not super heavy and it doesn't leave a powdery finish. Especially with a skin tint, you don't need super heavy powder. I've been liking this one. Just a quick sweep around the whole face. Then I go on to bronzer and I don't go super heavy into it. We just warm up the cheeks, a little bit on the forehead, and a little bit under the jawline. For blush, I like to take a pretty pinky one with a little bit of shimmer. So today we're gonna use the Jouer one. 
This is in the shade Hot Coral. And I don't go super heavy with blush either. I just like to give a nice little pinky color to the cheeks. And I do like to do a little bit like on the nose and kind of do that wave technique. But there's not a whole lot of product on the brush at this point, so it doesn't really, it doesn't produce like a harsh wave shape. And since those were all powders, I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just press over everything to make sure I pick up any powdery finish. Next, we're gonna go onto the eyes, and because this is such a simple, less than an hour look, honestly, I don't even know if this whole look would take you 30 minutes, probably less. For our eyes, I did pick up the new Sigma Ambiance palette. It is more of a warm tone gold, very summer vibe palette. So, oops. I've been staring at this for probably a week now and just wondering when am I going to use this because it's so beautiful I am kind of hesitant to touch it. I want to so bad and we're doing such a simple look today that I thought this would be a good day to test it out. So for eyeshadow I'm actually going to go into this shade. It's called Daylily and I'm just going to use the fluffy brush that came with the palette and I'm going to start in the crease. Ooh, That's a really pretty shade. And I'm just kind of buffing that in the crease and blending it up. Scratch that. I'm just going to put it everywhere. Put it on the whole lid. And it just kind of goes everywhere until you get it to the opacity and blend it out to your liking. So we'll go ahead and do this side too. And then I'm actually just going to flip the brush over. This is like a flat shader brush side. And I want to go into this shade Marigold this shimmery one here in the center and I'm just gonna place that all over the lid we'll see how it performs with a brush honestly not too bad see how it works with my finger oh yeah a bit better with my finger but and for quick makeup looks you don't have to use shimmer you could have just done that daylily shade and called it good but I tend to like shimmers and sparkle, so I'm adding this one. And then using that brush more to get on the inner corner here because my finger can't ever get there. And honestly, the, the shade's doing really well with the brush. So if you don't like to use your fingers, you definitely don't have to. I am going to go back into Daylily and just blend out this shimmer to matte line. That way it doesn't look so harsh. And then for my lower lash lines, I'm going to use Daylily and just go corner to corner. For an inner corner highlight, there's not quite a light enough shade in the palette that I want to use for it. So I'm just going to go into my Nabla Skin Glazing highlight and this is in the shade Ozone. It's a pretty nice bright ivory champagne color. And this is it so far. So I'm gonna pop on my eyebrows and get some mascara on. So please enjoy the intermission. Okay, so now that I've got my brows and mascara on, we are going to finish up with the lips. And for lips on a really simple day like this, I don't go full blown. If you've been with me long enough, you know that I am not really a lip person per se. I am very much chapstick and lip balm. I really need the moisturizing aspect in any lip product that I wear. So for simple days like this, I tend to pick something that's a little more comfortable for me to wear. So I really enjoy this lip balm from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Nearly Apricot. I feel like this one's a little bit too pinky for my look today. The other one I really like is from Tarte. It's the Maracuja Juicy Lip. I'm, I might be butchering that, but I really like the shade Coconut, which is a light brown shade. And then for another option I've also really been enjoying is from Tower 28. It's their Shine On Lip Jelly, and this is in the shade Cashew. But honestly, for today, for today, I'm thinking we're going to go with the Juicy Lip from Tarte. I just think the shade Coconut is really going to be pretty with the colors on the eyes. So it's one of those things where you have to like click it, which is not my favorite, but... 
and then you just have a nice light brownish tint to the lips but it's very moisturizing it feels like lip balm which is really important for important for me and then I believe our last step is setting spray. Currently, I've been liking the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray, so this is the one I'm gonna use today. And once it's soaked in a little bit, I will go in with my sponge and just press everything down again. Okay, so here is our finished look. I really like it. I tend to do really simple looks most days. This look probably takes maybe 20 minutes or so. Like if I weren't filming, I would probably have been done in about 20 minutes. So it's just, it's really just your preference on how glamorous you want to go and how many extra steps you want to take. Like today is a very natural day for me. I have to work this afternoon and I'm happy with this, but like I didn't put on highlight and I'm okay with that because it's just a simple day. It's not one of those days where I need to take my full hour to do all the steps the way I want to do them. So no, makeup does not have to take an hour or more every single day. You can definitely customize it to your preferences. Again, this probably takes about 20 minutes. With that said though, I would love to hear your thoughts on this look. I'm actually in love with the eyes. I think this Sigma palette is by far my favorite of their palettes, so I'm excited to continue to use that one. The Fenty Beauty skin is actually really nice. I feel like my skin is really flawless for a backup for lack of a better term, but like it just seems like all of the products really sunk into the skin. You'll have to let me know if you've tried any of these newer products that I mentioned and let me know your thoughts on them. Other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. I am here on Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.